Okay, so UFC fighter Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey. She got beat. She got beaten badly by Amanda Nunes. Now Ronda Rousey, she's she's uh, I guess she's probably one of the most one of the best known female um, MMA mixed martial arts fighters. Um, let's see, she's from Riverside, California. Now, let's see, she's pretty good. She's a pretty good fighter, and she she's. You know, she's relatively good looking as well so I think the marketers have really latched on to her and she had she had some reality TV show and she was in a bunch of shows so she was she got a lot of marketing and I'm sure she made a lot of money I hope she saves her money saved her money because obviously this type of stuff won't ne necessarily last forever but um so anyway, she got a lot of she got a lot of marketing and a lot of marketing behind her, a lot of attention, TV shows, W she was in the WWE reality TV shows and all kinds of stuff like that. So she did get a lot of attention and um, I'm sure she made a lot of money. But they matched her up with Amanda Nunes in a Brazilian woman. See, 28 years old, Amanda Nunes is 28 years old, Ronda Rousey is 29, so they're around the same age. Amanda Nunes was born in Salvador, Bahia, in Brazil, the city of Salvador, Bahia, Bahia, whatever, however you say it, in Brazil. And um, so they matched them up, they, they went up against each other. Amanda Nunes beat the fuck out of Ronda Rousey in... A very short time there's it was basically a stand-up but um, boxing a boxing competition that's the way the fight that's way they did the fight and um, well that's the way the fight went and Amanda Amanda Nunez just beat the uh, just punched out Ronda Rousey now there wasn't a straight complete knockout because Ronda Rousey didn't didn't go down, but um, basically what happened was Amanda Nunes punched the lights out of Ronda Rousey, and by the end Ronda Ronda was um, she looked like she was dazed. She looked like she was about to go down, and they just they just stopped the fight. the The referee jumped in the middle, ended it. If the referee didn't hadn't ended that fight, then um, Ronda Rousey would have probably got knocked out, or she would have got knocked down because she 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 didn't look like she was a she had the her brain it looked it looked like her brain wasn't she got hit too many times to the point that her brain wasn't even functioning to the point that she or. In, in such a way that she could put up her hands to defend herself so she would have she would have um, Nunez would have knocked her down with the next one one or two punches she would she would have, she would have um, put Ronda Rousey to the ground or if Ronda Rousey was backed up against the uh, the cage then Nunez could have just punched kept punching her because the cage would have been holding her up and she could have she could have been stand, she could have been knocked out on her feet and just taking punches and punches and i think that's the reason why they stopped the fights because they don't want to see that they don't want to see people just getting basically the thing with uh, some of these sports is you could get people get beaten to death in the ring and they really don't want to see that because it's, it's just bad publicity for them. If some some fighter gets punched in the head until their their brain starts bleeding or something, and then they st go out of the ring and die, it's not it's not so good. It's not good publicity for the sport, especially a sport like M um, mixed martial arts where you have people. It's already has a reputation for being brutal. You have people bleeding all the time. You know. 
if you watch the fights, you see people bleeding. Even in this particular fight, after at the end of the fight, Ronda Rousey's nose was 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 bleeding. So um, they don't want to see people dying. So they have to. They, the referees try to jump in to to make sure that the fights don't that it doesn't um, when they th when they see somebody. That's, that's um, basically when they see somebody who's, who's, who is finished, so it doesn't turn into just a, somebody just getting a straight beat down without any without being able to defend themselves. So that's why they stopped the fight. Um, and and uh, Amanda Nunes won. Now the thing about these fights is, um, I always wonder if these fights are set up. Um, staged in some type of way because for example so in this fight i'm not i'm not sure exactly how much they got paid how much either one of these uh, fighters got paid i believe that ronda rousey may have gotten paid more for this fight than um, amanda nunez did because obviously she's a big star ronda rousey she's a star amanda nunez is not as not as big she doesn't have all that marketing at least, especially in the, in the United States, at least I don't know about Brazil, but in the United States, Amanda Nunes, she has a strong accent. She just, she doesn't have that. She's not, she's not as marketable to the, to the, to the United States as Ronda Rousey was, or is, or whatever. So, so they, I think they probably paid Ronda Rousey a lot more to be in this fight, and I wonder if they didn't tell her, for example, that. To try to make it a stand-up fight and just trade blows and make it a boxing type of thing or kicking, as opposed to going to the ground. Because if you watch mixed martial arts, that's what you'll see a lot of times. Um, these fighters end up they end up going to the ground because obviously mixed martial arts you can use any type of you could use a whole bunch of different um, different different uh, types of martial arts or whatever or different fighting styles. So not like boxing where you can only box you can kick and you can grapple so what happens with a lot of these fights in, in the MMA is that a lot of people a lot of the fighters will take will end up on the ground and they'll be wrestling around on the ground and it's not as exciting for the viewer so I think a lot of these MMA, MMA because they want they want the viewers they want to entertain the viewers and draw the viewers and they, they like them to to do a little um, striking, a little uh, boxing with each other, or kicking, or whatever, and instead of instead of just going straight to the ground right away and ending up rolling around on the ground, which is not as exciting for the viewer. So I wonder if they didn't tell the, um, Ronda Rousey specifically, like, you know, we're gonna give you this million dollars or three million dollars or whatever um, if you if you stand up and try to box with this girl. Even though it, it, boxing, it was not is not necessarily Ronda Rousey's strong point compared with Amanda Nunes. So that's that's. I wonder if she didn't. She wasn't basically out there to take a beat down for that for the the millions of dollars that they were paying her. So anyway, um, so Ronda Rousey lost. She did get a straight beat down. She tried to box it out with Amanda Nunes, and Amanda Nunes was the stronger boxer. So she took a beat down, and she got knocked down within a very short period of time in the in the in the fight. It was it was like a it was like one of those classic one of the old, the old Mike Tyson fights from the eighties or something when Mike Tyson used to just come in the ring and just knock people down and. In, in within a minute, within 30 seconds or whatever, and the fight will be over. So that's what the fight was like. So anyway, Amanda Nunes is the <clears throat> beat Ronda Rousey and is now the champion. But um, uh, Ronda Rousey did probably got a good, very good payday from that. From that beat down she took she got a lot of money to get the fuck beat out of her 